What's good, Crown Family? Hey, hope you're having a good day today. Also, man, if you haven't checked, go ahead and check out my new remix, The Queen Bohemian Rhapsody. I uh, did a hip-hop remix to that, and I want to talk about it today. A lot of people want to know why, why I did it. Well, when I first heard the song, I instantly fell in love with it. If you want to go watch my reaction to it or you haven't seen it, um, you can see that I instantly fell in love with it, and I fell in love with the band Queen, and over months, you know, I've just been checking out a lot of my music. And a while back, I was like, I looked up on YouTube, has anybody done a remix to that? Well, hip hop remix to it. And I know it's one of those songs that it's like you don't really want to touch now unless you're really gonna, you know, bring something to the table. And I felt like I could bring something to the table as into making a hip hop version to it. You know, I didn't want to uh change the instrumental, I wanted the same instrumental. And 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 on top of that, it's not really easy to write to that song. Like, the instrumental is really not made for, you know, rapping at all. You know, it's, it's particularly made for, you know, like a cover, or r and uh, a rock, or, you know, somebody singing on it. It's not really made for that. So, was, that right there was a challenge for me. And I'm always down for challenges, man. Like, I looked at it as this huge challenge. I was like, I really love this song. And I really want to bring, you know, my flavor to it and, you know, and try to see if I can make something magical happen with it. And it took me a long time. Like, it took me, a, like, a couple weeks to write that verse. Why? Because, like I said, the instrumental is it's how you have to write to it. I mean, rap to it. It's, it's not easy, man. And it took me some time to, I had to write a couple bars, you know, come back to it, write a couple bars. And I didn't want to write nothing that was just out of out of this um that didn't make sense you know i wanted to make sure that it was going to be something that i loved and you know the, the world was going to love and the queen audience would love also man like i wanted to pay respect for to freddie that's why at the beginning of the verse you know i paid my home i mean i paid respect to freddie man because he is like somebody i truly look up to as an artist man just the way he did it, everything he didn't care and he he was actually an inspiration to me actually doing that because freddie was the type of person that any type of song he wanted to make he would make no matter the genre like his, their music you know it was every song that you hear from them is always different you know they always seen a dibble and dab into different genres of music and, and that's why i feel like that's inspired me as an artist i want to dibble and dab into different forms of genres of music and you know add a little hip-hop doing my thing and you know combining it together and that's kind of what i want to do with a, uh, some of my remixes because i'm gonna try some other songs also but this was a real challenge man like i don't want anybody to think this was easy to write to um but i got it done it took me a couple of weeks to write the verse when i got it done you know i kind of held on to it you know i just wanted to make sure i i perfected it like it took me about a good 20 times recording that verse like i promise you i had to record delete record delete because everything like it, it needed to be perfect because we're talking about queen bohemian rhapsody and like bro i wanted that to be perfect like i'm gonna do a rap version to it you know like i wanted that to be perfect and that's why i'm saying man like it, it was a challenge to me me as an artist i'm always down to take on different challenges man to opening uh my mind to you know different genres of music and you know just completing the task man and i really hope that you know this right here this remix did justice man i know some uh there's a lot of different, you know, people opinions, which is okay, you know, like, I know a lot of people are not going to like it, and I know a lot of people are going to love it, you know, it's just like, it's going to be one of those things where it's just like, it was more of something that I really wanted to do as an artist, and I got it done, and for the people that love it, that's what I did it for, because I know, it, like, not everybody's going to love my music, which is cool, you know, and you're going to have a lot of people that love my music, and that's cool too, so yeah, um, from now on, every I'm not gonna be dropping music on. I, I think I dropped that on Tuesday. For now on, like my remixes will be dropped on Friday. It's Fridays, I'm gonna be dropping original music also on Friday. Some sometimes I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it every Friday or every once a Friday or whatever. But I'm gonna let y'all know in advance when I'm about to drop a new remix or something. But I, I do want to tackle a couple others. Um, 
other genres were doing uh, hip hop remixes to them, you know, to the original instrumental that songs that I fell in love with by doing reactions to. Me as an artist, man, like I like I said, I just want to open this this whole universe and just try different things as an artist, man. You know, because me as an artist, man, like I I love music. I'm very passionate about music. If you know, like. I'm down to listen to just about anything, and I'm down to try just about anything with my music, man. Like, I'm not afraid to, you know, step outside of my comfort zone. And, and doing this remix was definitely me stepping outside of my comfort zone. Like, I was shook uploading that video. I was shook when they posted it. I was nervous the whole time, bro. <laughs> but, yeah, man, like I said, go ahead and check out my new queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, remix the link will be the pin comment. This is probably the first time a hip hop artist has ever touched this instrumental. Um, I hope I did it justice. Uh, appreciate y'all support. And like I said, uh, well, for next Friday, not this Friday coming up, but next Friday, I have a remix to Tupac Hit 'em Up coming up. Um, I hope y'all enjoy that. Uh, but appreciate y'all support. Just wanted to kind of break down, you know, why I did it. Um, you know, thanks so much to everybody for the positive comments because I've been getting so many positive comments and that just really makes me want to keep going harder with this, this uh, you know, dropping music. I'm, I'm going to be dropping a lot of music, remixes and original music. Like I said, I'm going to just let y'all know in advance and we're going to keep this going, man. We're going to see where it takes us, man. Never know, man. I might be on some huge stage next year somewhere, you know, performing. <laughs> but, hey, it's all because of y'all. Thank you, Crown Family. We out. Salute.